Folks, welcome to Bird Dogs of Field TV. We're here with a family that we visit often. It's the wonderful Carter family of Merrimeeting Kennels in Brunswick, Maine. And of course, this is Patty, the matriarch of the, of the Carter family, and Blaine. And uh, they're very well known, and they have been for years, for their training skills and their hunting skills. So we visited them today. They've got a young puppy. Patty, what's the puppy's name? This is Etta. Etta. And she is three months and a week. Three months and a week, oh my goodness. Yeah. Think of all the wonderful uh, future uh, times you're gonna have with her. That's gonna be great. I'm very excited. Yeah. Very excited. Blaine, do you like this puppy? Oh, I, 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 it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, this is an amazing little connection the two of these have. It's just amazing. Good, good. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> Wonderful. All right, so what are we going to see today? Well, we're going to see the foundation stuff. You know? Okay. What, what builds a young dog? What makes a young dog tick, want to listen? And Patty's very good at uh, introduction to training, the use of food, uh, place boards, those kinds of things. Wonderful, all right. It's the, all this information was like sort of born out of the fact that we had a puppy litter in the winter uh -huh. and people went home and, and they couldn't come visit because of our COVID virus issues right. and uh, so we we had them come over. They could look from an awful crowd room but we sent videos out all the time and oh, so great. I continued them after they all left the litter and and it became the star. And so it's been kind of fun, like c coming up, well, what can we do this week, Blaine? We gotta come up with another plan. So. Oh yeah, she was like the mad professor. Yeah. <laughs> well, Anna was very compliant and she just was like, okay, we can do that, Mom. Yeah, right, Anna? All right, yeah. Let's take so, a look. Yeah, I'll show, you, okay. I'll show you what we got. Okay. Hi folks, this is part one of a two-part series with Patty Blaine and Etta Carter. In part one, they're going to be introducing foundation training. It's shaping the behavior of the dog. They'll be covering recall, woe, healing, and much more. After watching part one, be sure to watch part two. In part two, they'll be introducing use of the lawn line, uh, retrieving, introduction of birds, lots of good stuff. Hope you enjoy it. Be sure to watch both parts. Bird Dogs Field, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete and brought to you in part by Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, takes on the nuisance of foot odor, Thoroughgood, job fitted footwear handcrafted in America since 1892. Visit thoroughgoodusa.com for a dealer near you. Okay, Blaine, I'm going to show you what, what Ed has been working on. You come critique it for me, would you? All right. Come on, Anna, let's go. Come on, let's go up here. What's that? Ah, oh, good girl. Good job. Anna. Uh, this is what she's been working on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I won't need this right now. So. Okay, come on, Anna, come. Good job. Come on, Bob. Come on. Hop. Now, Patty, Patty introducing or has introduced the food already. This is food driven. So basically, I joke and say that Etta teaches me what she wants to do or what she knows, and she's way ahead. <laughs> Come on, but the thing you need to be looking at in this particular Whoa. function Whoa. is the dog okay, good girl. is seeing good girl. what she does. And Patty's Come voice, on, her body English, Come connected on, to the food. There's Come all on. these training foundations that are occurring in this young dog right now. She had a piece so of nose, food you missed. Her nose, nose just told her she missed here. one kernel. But uh, look at her tail, her body <laughs> English, her want to train. It's, it's, a, it's a great response. I mean, come back, come back. for some of us old guys that come back with the leash and some of the whoa, early whoa, 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 whoa. Etta, compliance come. training we used to come do on. with the dog, this is this is just accelerated uh, the dog training. Whoa. Compliance comes later. Well, well, good girl. 
Okay. Let's just Atta come com. with me and start doing Atta the com. function. Basic stop with whoa. Whoa. Atta girl. Whoa. Good girl. Good job. And Good watch job. Patty's an animation in her dog training. Come. Words really mean nothing to him right now. The food means more to him than the Atta. words. But how Patty moves, how she connects to the dog, how the dog connects to her. Face. It's a show. This is the show me period in a Whoa. young dog's life. Show them everything Whoa. you can possibly show them. Talk to them, show them voice commands. Atta. All of this is being done. His impulse control work going on right Good now. Good job. Good job. Whoa. See? Notice the attention, focus in the exercises, how she's drawn the focus. And it come. <clears throat> Now she's See, a using bit that she was trying to adjust what she was doing, <coughs> try to figure out how she was going to get that treat. We're I know, at that, that point good. now that she's throwing out behaviors. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good what girl. I like is the foundation work, things that are coming later. Your recall, where she positioning herself now already in her life. So when you say come, it has a place to it, which in her retrieving exercises, which are going to come much later in her life. But this groundwork is all in place right now and working for you. Okay. So Doing I'm just a great down, job. Just do a little that. walking and and the, yeah, so she do just, some she's just learning right position to begin when I walk. Yep. Like a healing procedure that I haven't really it hasn't given it a name yet. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Pump. This way. This way. Come on. Come on. That a girl. Oh, what a good job. Good job, Edna. You watch good her working job. as she goes down, well, the dog's walking in the healing position. Heal? We use a lot of place words in our so training. Did throw the word just in there, to keep so maybe the focus piece the going. Well, no, come, come. The food is the driver. Well, good girl, come. Come on. Good girl. And a hop, hop, hop. Well, and a come. Good job. Heel. Heel. Atta. See, she now is on the wrong side. So she gets nothing till she corrects herself. There you go. Good girl. And we always drop a morsel here and there because she has a great nose. She has to You notice that Patty's it. not correcting any of these misbehaviors at this point in her training. Um, all she's doing is, is showing her what she wants, uh, developing those basic, basic uh, associations as to follow me right now, walk with me. And the food's keeping the attention. Good when girl. I stop, you sit down. Girl. And the Good amazing girl. thing is that this has been growing. This is just sit. show me. If there's no negative connotations in this. This is just shaping behaviors. A little more compliance. Just a real quick break for our sponsors, and we'll be right back with more puppy training with Blaine, Patty, and Anna Carter. Hi folks, you know if you have a new puppy you need to be very very attentive as to what you're feeding that puppy. Native puppy level 3 is what you need. It's a great start for your pup. None of the unwanted grains like soy, wheat, corn are in there. So puppy level 3 and then from there you go on to the native level 2, 3 or 4 whatever fits your schedule. Check it out. Puppy level 3 for your puppy. These work boots are made in central Wisconsin. Thoroughgood shoes have been crafted by hand in Wisconsin since 1892. We manufacture over 125 styles of made in the USA law enforcement, firefighting, lifestyle, outdoor, and safety footwear. Our facilities in Maryland Marshfield produce footwear with the same dedication to quality we've had for 125 years. Thoroughgood shoes, American heritage footwear, proudly made in the USA. Excellent, Patty. Good girl. Good, good girl. And the neat thing good is, girl. is now yes. she's done whistle good association girl. to the cum. She's done voice connections to the cum. Excellent job. This is a lot of layering there. Everything is started separately. Right. And then we put it all together. Let the shift to learn. I mean, I could not get any farther than this in the beginning of the yeah. state command. So yeah. she learned this. 
uh, I, it was a funny story when we started. I tried to teach her in the beginning to woe for her food because I've always done that, but then it wasn't going really well. No. So, um, as you know, Blaine, for ne never does. eight, let's see, seven, six, seven weeks, when we, four weeks probably, at least we've been feeding food to our dogs, puppies, your puppies and my puppies, we've been putting food on the floor and then just let them go at it and, and it's over. But, so when I put food on the floor for her, she was already pre-programmed to go at that food. So I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So I st started to do this instead. Ella? Ella? Let it sit. I can find my food. Yeah. Ella, whoa. Whoa. So we sat. Ah, so when she moved, sit. I took the food away. Whoa. Ella, ah. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to the beginning where I started the, the woe with my hand and my voice. And in the beginning, this was game on. So as soon as she came to the food, it went away. So she learned the only way she got this food, ah, sit, sit, good job, good job, whoa. And that's perfect right there because this is going to extend into your woe coming. This is compulsion control, shaping. She wants, she's making a decision. You want her to do one thing, she wants to do another, and you're denying the food. My. And very interesting, which we can go back one more step, is she never gets a meal out of a bowl. Her meals come from my hand 24 7. So in training, she has lunch, in training, she, in breakfast is, is training. Everything she does is from my hand, so I own the resources, so I'm really a little bit more important in her life than Blaine. <laughs> and that's true. <laughs> but the neat thing in that is because of your hand feeding, when we're dog training, our hands are very active in associating different commands, how we move our hands. So that dog has already begun its focus to the hand and your compulsion work. And that compulsion work, show, it, show how it's gone now from you've got her to understand not to, not to go, how it connected to the woe command or, or to, to stop command to woe. Just woe one, just yeah. woe one. Yeah. You can see, go take her back the other way and come back up so the people can Atta, see. It's easier okay. to see the other, other Atta, direction. Atta, good girl. Oh, that's a good girl. I gotta get more food, don't I? Okay, okay. Atta, come. Come. Heel. Heel. This is like a reset button. Here we go. Come on. 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 See, just those little connections. These, these are foundation Whoa. pieces Whoa. that, uh, that's Whoa. beautiful right there. Good girl. Intense. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. So Good you're job. working on a premise right now, which is pretty neat, is it isn't have to, it's want oh, to. Oh, absolutely. Food driven is want Food driven want to. want to get it done. Yep. You know, there's a lot of trainers out there today that look at food as a distraction rather than as a learning. And I think it, at this age and this time in their life, it so accelerates Correct, your dog because training. because they have lived in, mother has given them food and warmth. And that's, you know, the mother goes away at eight weeks and we're in charge of protecting them and, and continuing the food part of their resource. And if you utilize it to your benefit, it is amazing training. And like this young dog, if if we're going to do a pointing piece come later, when we connect with that lead around that point, to hold, if, it, if it surfaces the yeah, point, yeah. You, you, you're going to utilize that command. Yeah. So even in the development, even though the woe command isn't grown to a large piece, at least it's connected so you can do a developmental piece and introduction on birds. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right? Yep, yeah. Yep. Etta. 
So what she was doing over there was she was making sure she didn't drop any food or I didn't drop any food. So I didn't say a word because if I had said Etta come and she hadn't completed her little search pattern over there, then she probably wouldn't come. And some people might look at that as disobedience, but it's actually her choice not to come. And I'm not at the point where I want to make her come at this point. So Exactly. And, and that's an excellent piece for when do I command, especially in young dog development, command when they're most able to do, uh, in, interact with you, yep. right? If they're distracted so badly, get rid of the Recognize distraction the fact and that then that bring them back in. Yeah. probably won't work when you call her, so. Right. And that's what we did, and I called her, and she was pretty immediate about coming. Yeah. And saying, what's next? So, I need to get more food. Just a real quick break for our sponsors, and we'll be right back with more puppy training with Blaine, Patty, and Anna Carter. Hi friends. You know, whether you're a hiker, hunter, jogger, walker, all of those activities create sweat and moisture in your footwear. That moisture leads to bacteria, mildew, mold, all bad things for your feet. To eliminate that moisture, you need a peat shoe dryer, the new, Power Cell Peat eliminates that moisture and creates a better atmosphere for good foot health. Okay. Etta. Well, because everybody expected Etta and I to come up with, with new tricks and training regimes, our litter, Etta, obviously this was a bird there. So she's thinking birds. So Etta. So this is one of the little videos we supply to our puppy buyers. Whoa, whoa. So it's just for her to pay attention to me. So we've, we've layered in obedience on the place board, watching me, eye contact is huge as you watch her watch me, left and right. And I'm dropping little kibbles on here as a reward. And then I go back, whoa. So being a good girl, she gets one here. Whoa. And I move away. Etta, whoa. Whoa. So I sort of get her attention on one side. Etta. Over. Good girl. And she gets rewards. So she watched me. She watched my hands. She watched my body language. She watched directionals. She got rewarded for going that way. There's a place board. There's a a little uh, tag point out there, Etta. Good. Back. Back up. And the good thing is that compulsion, that Whoa. that, that Whoa. wool work, that, that compulsion control we were talking about to stay, that gives you the ability now to grow, grow this young dog's decision process. So I've thrown in the distraction of those. And I'm going to get her. She's uh, total eye contact. I love that. Etta. Over. Out of go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, please. Please. Good girl. Yeah, it's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. <gasps> you're so smart. And the yeah. good thing okay. is you're always recalling. So what you're teaching her is she goes out, she goes where you asked her to go, just like a retrieve. She comes back, always comes back to the to you. And there's a reward there too. And it's always in the same position. Yep, yep, yep. Right. So that's okay. done an excellent job. Thank you. Excellent, Thank you. excellent job. Like I say, they all needed more tricks every single week. <laughs> right. <laughs> we were running out of tricks up our sleeves, but at a, it is good. Right? Okay, so I can do some healing here if you want. I, I would do some long recalls as well to show how that how that all's going. Okay. And Etta. you can also send. Etta, come, come, come here. Come here. Etta. One of the things in our training is w what are the distances in which we can grow a particular Whoa. dog, and how we grow Whoa. it. And I so think if I said, we grow I started, it in shot I could barely walk away that from are successful. Right. Sorry. Right. We, we could barely, you know, it's one yeah. step and back and reward. Out of your way. So now she's got used to looking at my back. So now we're going to do some I'll... proofing. We're going to proof it. Give me a treat. This is called patience. Etta, come! Come on, puppy! Ah, it's 
Where girl. do you come? Yes, I do. Here we go. Always good to job. the same position. <gasps> you are so now girl. you're proofing, proofing yes. your training with taking away some of the focus pieces that keeps her interest and see if we can do it in an open environment. Yeah. You want to uh, do something different? Yeah. Absolutely. What do you want to well, show we us? Can, I can just run in circles. You watch how we, we started. This is all attention. At a, come on, come on, come on. Okay, ready? 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 Okay. Let's go. Come on, Etta, come. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Come on. This is the Merry Meeting aerobic on, Etta, program Etta, now. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on. That's <laughs> how so Patty stays whoa. in shape. Come on. <laughs> So she learned, we had a friend, Philip, that Blaine mentioned earlier, did all these slices of trees. And so at puppy class, everybody has a slice. We're gonna outgrow the slices, but yeah, it's they a have perfect a, target. Some of the puppy people target even put the their puppies. names on it. <laughs> yeah, they came with their names. <laughs> but I love using place boards. I think place boards was uh, a great introduction into dog training. And you can get very, very um, inventive people, with well, them as well. Honestly, when I did start, Etta, I started here, and she's reading my body language now, so she's finishing here. So a few weeks ago, I decided, now I think I want her to finish here. So what I do when she comes in, I'm not standing behind the board. The board is her location to come to, but I'm now standing beside the board. So I just encourage her to go by me and come back and sit properly beside me. So and, and you also... I'm working on it. You're working on it. But you also go to the... If you, she's coming left-sided... You can also go to the front right corner of the board. So oh. this makes her swing. Yeah. It puts the swing into action. Edda. Oh, come. Edda, girl. There you go. Right. And she is at this age of reason now. Occasionally she'll sit there and look at me like, really? What's in it for me this time? <laughs> so. And I don't chase her. I don't go to her. I just wait her out. And she'll always, she's so far, she's always come. I will probably get to the point where she chooses not to, but. So we could take a break right here. Okay. I hope you enjoyed part one of puppy training with, with Blaine and Patty. Uh, be sure and watch part two now. Part two, they're going to be doing uh, retrieving, use of the lawn line, intro to birds, lots of great stuff. So be sure to watch part two. Bird Dogs of Field presented by Native Performance Dog Food and brought to you in part by Mud River Dog Products, Pete Shoe Dryer, and Thoroughgood Footwear.